Evan, uh, just over here to your left. Um, as a group, how much did you guys view this as almost like a measuring stick game with a formidable Central Division opponent in the Predators coming in with a three-game winning streak because they've had a pretty good season so far? Yeah, we knew we were going to get a good team. And, uh, you know, between second and third, we really wanted to uh, show what we were capable of. We knew it was a good test, like you said, and uh, I think we played a, a good, solid home game. Uh, Miko, how do you feel like the team has been able to perform in the last handful of games? Do you feel like that you guys have been able to get your mojo back a little bit? Yeah, that's how it seems and that's how it feels in the locker room too. You know, I think the last two games we have played like really well and um, I'm happy to see that. Uh, it's a uh, like, little, bit, little bit extra extra for me. I know him pretty well, so it's um, a really good guy and one of the best goalies in the league. So it's um, always a great challenge also for me. Like, And do you like shootouts? Obviously you do tonight. Do you like the shootout? <laughs> yeah, sometimes you like, sometimes not, but today was our, our turn. Thank you. Miko, it's a pretty dramatic turnaround here for your group, you know, piecing together a few wins in a row. Um, how far do you think this will go to rebuilding your confidence to closer to where it was earlier this year? You know, I think we learned our lesson. We can't look like too much ahead. We have to go like, it's cliche, but it's so true that we have to go like one day and one, one game at a time. Otherwise, it, you know, our focus is not there, you know, and it, I think that's the main thing. Like keep building our game and uh, we're doing a lot of good things right now and uh, there's still a lot of room to improve and um, if we do that, then it's going to be a very strong team in the end of the year. I've been sorry if it's awkward because he's sitting there, but in each of the last few games, Miko's had kind of those one or two saves in those critical moments that have given you guys that time and space to be back in it. Just how crucial are those moments? Yeah, they're huge. Those are the, uh, you know, kind of a make or break point in the games. Those are huge saves. He's been doing that for us a lot this season, especially the past few games. He's been a rock back there, and he's uh, really kept us in a game, and I think uh, you know, he's won us games as well. Hey, Evan, um, these, these streaks are kind of weird. Like the last two games are overtime and, and a shootout. Could have gone either way, but it goes your way. A, a few weeks ago, the, the, all these games are going the other way. Is there something you can pinpoint that why it's, you know, falling your way that last little while and maybe why it wasn't before? Uh, no, I couldn't tell you what, what it is. Um, you know, I think things are bouncing our way. There was uh, games in that streak where I think uh, we deserved to win. Bounces weren't going our way. And... Uh, now we're getting the bounces, and uh, we're really playing as a team. I think that's going to you know, keep getting better, and we're going to keep improving. And, and some of the guys have been talking about it. I mean, you guys quite regularly fall behind one nothing, and it doesn't seem to be that big of a deal, your ability to kind of hold it steady and, and, and get back and tie it. I mean, how much has the previous experience kind of helped you in that, and, and how valuable is that? Yeah, big time. Um, I don't think any team likes to go down uh, one nothing early or at any point in the game, but... Uh, you know, we found ways to battle back, and I think that's good for our confidence. We know we can do it, and uh, throughout the whole game, as long as we stick as a team, we can, uh, I think, come back from anything. Miko, can you talk about the Duchesne shootout move? Kind of had you down, and uh, just the desperation pad save. What was going through your mind on that second one? Uh, I think he actually lost the puck, and it was going like a little bit backwards, so I don't, I don't believe that they would count the goal anyway, see if it would go in, but yeah, I, I don't really even know what happened there. It just make a move and puck went backwards. What, what's your approach in the shootout? Do you, do, you wanna, do you wait for the guy? Do you have to read them? Or how do you judge it from player to player on what you're going to do? You know, it, it also depends, like, if it's a righty or lefty. And, uh, but I'm not going to tell my secrets, secrets there.